Taoiseach Michal Martin claimed in a recent radio interview that people who downplay the seriousness of coronavirus should be marginalised and have their views undermined. Is it reasonable for the leader of the country to dismiss the views of his own citizens in this way? This is Ben Scallon and you're watching Gripped Media. While speaking to Pat Kenny on News Talk this week, Taoiseach Miha Martin made some alarming and unusual statements about the recent anti-lockdown protests seen in Dublin, referring to people who don't believe that the coronavirus is as serious as has been made out by the authorities and the media. The Taoiseach said that these quote-unquote deniers should be marginalised and have their views undermined. Take a listen for yourself. Uh, there was quite a number of deniers in those protests who deny that the coronavirus is, is as deadly as it is. Um, thank, thankfully, they are not getting traction uh, and thankfully yeah. their message is not winning any degree of public support whatsoever. And so how one responds has to be intelligent and informed and ultimately about how to undermine the messaging that's coming from those groups and make sure they remain as marginalised as they currently do. He has to make sure that those views are undermined. Does Martin consider himself the Taoiseach or the Minister for Propaganda? Perhaps the only good thing about this statement is that the Fianna Fáil leader has now admitted that the government is actively trying to suppress those with an alternative view. Not that we exactly needed confirmation of that. After all, as we just covered in a recent video, the HSE sacked one of their top doctors last week, Dr. Martin Feely, for saying that he believed COVID-19 wasn't as serious as the public had initially been told. For stating his fact-based medical opinion, he was unceremoniously forced to resign after years of work as a vascular surgeon. So now we know that this was not an incidental injustice, but an active effort on the part of the government to stifle dissent. We have Government Minister for Defence, Simon Coveney, saying that the government needs to look into people's right to protest. And yet this is the same man who just last month issued a statement condemning the government of Belarus for their crackdown on protests and the right to free expression, saying, I commend the many thousands of people who have made their voices heard, including through the mass demonstrations that we have seen over the weekend and notwithstanding the very real threat that they have faced to their personal liberty and safety. So apparently, according to Simon, the people of Belarus have the absolute inalienable right to express themselves freely in public, but the people of Ireland do not. And of course, to top it all off, we have hate speech Charlie Flanagan driving ahead with his plans to make controversial speech a crime. New and strengthened laws dealing with hate speech and hate crime in Ireland are badly needed. Pleased to see matters progressing as planned. So as we face the mother of all recessions, thousands of citizens express justified outrage by peacefully protesting in the streets, as is their right, our politicians' number one priority is suppressing those views and making sure that those who feel aggrieved remain marginalised, to quote the Taoiseach. I don't know who these leaders claim to represent, but it's definitely not the people, and that's becoming increasingly clear every day. Please like and share this video and if you enjoyed it please consider signing up for a monthly donation via the link on screen to help us continue producing content like this. Independent media like Gript needs all the assistance it can get and every donation goes a long way. As always, thanks for watching.